We're here uh, to save the post office because uh, we, we have to, you know, stand up for the United States Postal Service, and we have to we have to stand with the United States Postal Service workers. They they are they are really essential right now as we are heading into uh, November third, especially since we're in the middle of a pandemic. Mail-in balloting is going to be um, extremely important to to so many senior citizens and to. Um, systems who, who don't want to get out to the polls and if we if we keep attacking the United States Postal Service and we keep trying to, to, to cut its funds um, th there may be ballots that aren't getting counted and that's dangerous to our democracy um, and not only that but it's also important because so many senior citizens they they rely on the post office for for their medication and like I said if we continue to try and strip away um, access for, to the post office and from the post office so many senior citizens and so many people with um, uh, immunocompromised immune systems may, may may not get their medications in time and that can be life or death to, to, to so many Americans. Um, and then not only that, the United States Postal Service employs um, about 100,000 veterans and that's about one-sixth of the, the United States Postal Service workforce. So so it's important we protect those jobs and we protect, um, we protect our veterans who, who have served our country and continue to allow them to work for the United States Postal Service. So that, that's why we're here. We're just out here, you know, stand, standing with the Postal Service and say that we, we, need to, we need to fund it and Congress needs to act to support it.